I, I you we're going to watch Joseph Robin and Biden talk and, and wag his finger. Okay, they rolled him out. They rolled the homie out. Okay, out of the cryo chamber so we could fucking uh, talk about the Mac attack. Okay. Madam Vice President, our fellow Americans, to state the obvious, one year ago today, in this sacred place. Oh, the Pelosi Wakanda moment was fake. Okay, good. Love me, Hussein Hassel. Democracy. Fucked up. Was attacked. <clears throat> Simply <clears throat> attacked. The will of the people was under assault. The Constitution, our Constitution, faced the gravest of threats. Outnumbered in the face of a brutal attack, the Capitol Police, the D.C. Metropolitan Police Department, the National Guard, and other brave law enforcement officials saved the rule of law. Our democracy held. We, the people, endured. <laughs> yada, we, yada, the people, yeast. prevailed. For the first time in our history, yeah, bro. a president had not just lost an election, he tried to prevent the peaceful transfer of power as a violent mob breached the Capitol. But they failed. They failed. And on this day of remembrance, we must make sure that such attack never, never happens again. <laughs> I'm speaking it's to gonna you happen again. Statuary Hall. You Dude. Okay. Let me, let me just explain something to you. How okay. You and HVAC, some bitches. Let me explain something to you all here on this beautiful, glorious day where we celebrate our fallen patriot comrades who, you know, did the hog insurrection. Okay. None of them really died, but, you know, they all died of COVID later. But hey, that's besides the point. Less than three. Since then. If we are to recognize that the reason why they were fucking whipped up into a frenzy was because there is voter fraud happening and the demon rat party is not stopping it, okay? Because that's the lie, right? They, the Democrats also call that the big lie, right? Two-thirds of Republican voters right now believe that the election was stolen from Donald Trump. Two-thirds of Republican voters believe that the election was stolen from Donald Trump, who is the righteous president of the United States of America at the moment. So just understand that the, the reason why they did this is because they, were, they thought that this was what was going on. Like, what, what are you supposed to do? If you think this, like, insane fucking thing is happening... And everyone is telling you on TV, all the, all the people that you love to watch, okay, to unwind after a long day at the HVAC business that you own, okay? Tucker Carlson, Laura Ingram, all of your favorite congressional representatives that you would basically purchase Funko Pops for if they made Funko Pops for those representatives, My okay? Is like, that's, that's the Republican version of fucking soy facing for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, okay? Like, cracking a beer, unwinding, and, and soy-facing at fucking Tucker Carlson, okay? Like, everyone told them over and over again that the election was stolen, and those guys still believe it. You didn't address shit. So why wouldn't this happen again? United States Capitol. Two months sub. This is where the House of Representatives met for 50 years in the decades leading up to the Civil War. This is on this floor. It's where a young congressman from Illinois, Abraham Lincoln, sat at desk 191. Above him, above us, over that door leading into the rotunda, is a sculpture depicting Cleo, the muse of history. In her hands, an open book in which she records the events taking place in this chamber below. 
Nothing better Cleo than stood watch over this hall one year ago today. Full of many Bro, wow. How Hussan dare you guys disrespect Cleo that was watching over the floor, dude? Like, you think... Who cares, bro? Who cares, old man? Shut the fuck up. Abolish student loan debt, dickhead. Okay? I don't care. Why should anybody care about this? Oh, Cleo's watching? No shit, dude. That's crazy. Bro, that's wild. I can't believe these sacred, hallowed halls were fucking disrupted by the filthy, disgusting hogs that walk through those doors, dude. Hey, today Who cares? My and last Who cares? Sucked especially because when I told Motherfuckers are being to forced to, house, to go I back to work the house. while they're still sick with COVID. And the Biden administration yesterday, when asked uh, the question like, can you give more financial assistance to people? Straight up, high-level Biden uh, administration uh, person said, we are not going to incentivize people to stay at home anymore at a time when the economy is booming. Okay? That's what they're saying. Shut the fuck up. Suck it the fuck up. I know that, like, the same amount of people are dying of COVID, Happy like, when you did get, uh, last year, when you did actually get financial assistance. But, like, sorry. The economy is booming, baby. Suck it. Suck my old... 900 year old shriveled up dick is what they're One fucking year. telling you. In Chella, many more to come. But hey, you got Hamilton and you got Cleo over looking over these sacred halls and being disrespected. Okay. Hold up one second. I want to I want to show you the, the the what I'm talking about. I want to I want to read the exact quote. At Hassan by happy 8 months less than 3 I wanna, in a great fuck, time. Fuck, I don't know if I can find it uh, with ease. Does anyone times. keep up the good work? Does anyone have the tweet that I'm talking about? Like uh there's a quote from a Biden a admin on COVID assistance. It was yesterday. Oh, here, here, here. Thank you. Thank you, Grev. Here it is. Senior Biden official to CNN on potential for future COVID relief aid. And a senior Biden right administration now. official poured cold water on any further stimulus at this time, leaving the possibility open to some relief for restaurants. No, there might be something small for restaurants, but the economy is booming. There are millions of open jobs, and we do not believe people should be sitting at home if they are vaccinated and boosted, as most adults are, the senior official said when asked if additional stimulus legislation was being taken seriously. The official added, so we are not going to write checks to incentivize people to sit at home, and we are not going to bail out businesses if the economy seems strong, leaving the possibility open if something changes. 20 months. They did push the student loan payments back to May. Yeah, push it back permanently, dog. What the fuck do you mean? For the record, like, this isn't that different from what a Republican administration would say. Already. I'm sorry, but Happy like, insurrection day. this is exactly the same energy as a Republican admin. And if you don't realize that, if you don't recognize that, I don't know what the fuck can tell you. Like, it sucks. And people will say, I am responsible for, uh, you know, people not wanting to vote or whatever. I'm causing, like, uh, I I'm engaging in this kind of political rhetoric that, like, depresses voter turnout and yada yada. It's like, well, they're doing it. I have a fucking tiny reach in comparison to what the Democratic Party is doing. Get mad at them for doing this, as I am also mad at them, because I want people to vote. But more than that, I want the Democratic Party to actually act out on the desires of the people that voted for them. I'm proposing $2,000 monthly payments throughout the pandemic and for three months after because rent and bills are still due during this crisis and people are going hungry. It's that basic. Yep. May 11th, 2020. That's crazy, bro. I'm 
how much fiscal support do you want dude do you see inflation at the moment and need to relax for a bit no you're right people should shut the fuck up and get back to work look at the inflation brother you're right it's just so weird that financial assistance and financial relief offered to business owners is never responsible for inflation, but only when it's actually poor people that fucking get money and eradicate extreme poverty as it originally did in the beginning of the fucking pandemic, then you have inflation. Love you, Hassan. It's the moral hazard concept all over again, dude. Moral hazard is only applicable to the fucking working class, okay? If you're a business owner, there is no moral hazard. It's an expectation for you. The expectation is that you are absolutely are going to, you absolutely are going to fucking get money from the government to help you. As a matter of fact, it's built in to the fucking profit margin, the profit motive in general, okay? Anyway, let's keep going. As she has for more than 200 years. She recorded what took place. Also, inflation isn't like impossible to fucking deal with. Like, why do people make it seem like inflation is this magical, mystical thing that you can't actually address by, I don't know, increasing taxes as a matter of fact, okay? It's one way. Why have we not done any of that? Are there no methods to fucking uh, stop inflation? I don't know. How about increasing interest rates? Five months slice go. <sighs> Jesus. Place. Nice. The real history. The real facts. The real truth. The facts and the truth that Vice President Harris just shared and that you and I and the whole world saw with our own eyes. The Bible tells us that we shall know the truth and the truth shall make us free. We shall know the truth. Well, here is the God's truth about January 6, 2021. Close your eyes. Go back to that day. What do you see? Rioters rampaging, waving for the first time inside this Capitol. Confederate flag that symbolized the cause to destroy America, to rip us apart. Even during the Civil War, that never, ever happened. But it happened here in 2021. <clears throat> what else do you see? A mob breaking windows, kicking in doors, breaching the Capitol. American flags on poles being used as weapons, as Yo, spears. Love the stream. Happy Fire stingers being day. thrown at the heads of police officers. A crowd that professes their love for law enforcement assaulted those police officers, dragged them, sprayed them, stomped on them. Pretty. Over 140 police officers were injured. Hot. We all heard the police officers who were there that day testify to what happened. One officer called it. Did we? That's the, this is the most annoying part of it is like framing this as like the poor cops that got stomped on on that day. Why don't we care more about our fucking boys in the blue? It's so funny. I'm sorry. I just, I don't care. I literally don't care. Half of those fucking cops were like in the crowd. Okay. The other half let them in. And I don't care. I am an advocate and I am of the mindset that civilized oh, countries allow it. its citizens to fucking brawl with cops, okay? Because cops are not above the law. They're human beings, just like the fucking people whose skulls they're crushing on a regular basis. In America, we have this very weird attitude that like, you can't brawl with a cop ever. They'll kill you, okay? And I'm not saying like, use a gun, obviously, but like, it blows my fucking mind that, like, any other country that you go to, any other country that you go to, you'll see videos, like, cops are out in the fucking streets, they only have pepper spray, they only have, like, a baton, 
Max, and homies are brawling. The only countries outside of the United States where people can't fucking brawl with cops are dictatorships. I think it shows, I think it shows that it is a civilized country if citizens have the same level of rights and protection under whatever constitution they believe in where, uh, you know, they can fucking brawl with cops. Georgia state flag used to be the Confederate flag and was waved in the Capitol for decades. Lamau. Yeah. I mean, happy anniversary. Aljan and chat smiling face with hearts, sparkling heart, sparkling heart. If you brawl a cop, you're going to get clapped. They train a ton. Dude, you are literally out of your mind, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? What? Homie said, cops train a ton. Have you seen a cop, dude? What? <laughs> the only workout cops are getting is when they're running up a fucking escalator that's out of commission yeah, to get some donuts, okay? At the Krispy Kreme Donut Factory, okay? The most exercise a cop gets is when he goes, ooh, yummy, Burger King. Oh, no, the drive through is not working. I got to walk inside, okay? I have been a watcher for years, but now I want you to... Oh, the fucker said cops that train, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, they're fucking... Yeah, they're training their gut. How delightful. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I watch, I've been watching Baki. Yeah, they've been, they. <laughs> I've been watching Baki as well. You know, some of those, some of those cops are, they're all fucking judo, uh, uh, specialists. <laughs> this might be worse than the celebrity imagined video. Yeah, they train by lifting that baker's dozen, that whole extra donut than us normies train with. Yep. Dennis Prager, say something of value Percent. challenge. New channel five dropped this morning. Are you going to watch on stream? Yes, we are going to watch on stream. Government should totally be run like a business. If your government's sole mission is to make a lot of money, short-term profits for a few people at the top. What? Oh, oh, you're saying, well, it is kind of run like that. The funniest thing is this, dude. At least 57 people who protested or stormed the Capitol are now running for office. I love that. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. That's dope. That's great. Wonderful. Incredible. Brilliant. That's America. Quote, Always. a mid medieval battle. And that he was more afraid that day than he was fighting the war in Iraq. They've repeatedly asked since that day, how dare anyone, anyone diminish, belittle, or deny the hell for the record i one one thing i will admit i think even some cops would fucking be more inclined okay the the thing i'm talking about is like i'm simply stating that there should be okay there should be a base level of humanity okay where you you don't go above that like in the eyes of the law cop human same person right and in any other circumstance if a person treated you like a fucking cop does, you would never stand for that. You would never, ever, ever stand for that, right? I was trying to get. And what, that's January what I'm simply stating. I think it would literally fucking make policing better. Coverage. Some so cops thanks. would actually train for the first time ever, so they can like you know engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It would make policing better overall. I think. No arms, no guns, just straight fucking bare arms, baby. You know what I'm saying? they were put through we saw with our own eyes rioters menace these halls threatening the life of the of speaker watching. of the house literally erecting gallows to hang the vice president of the united states of america what did we not see we didn't see a former president who had just rallied the mob to attack 
sitting in the private dining room Absolutely, off the Oval insane. Office in the White House, rock, dude. watching Thank it all on television, do goddamn day. Love and doing community. nothing Love you, Chad. for Pass. hours as police were assaulted, lives at risk, the nation's capital under siege. This wasn't a group of tourists. This was an armed insurrection. They weren't looking to uphold the will of the people. They were looking to deny the will of the people. They were looking to uphold. They weren't looking to uphold a free and fair election. They were looking to overturn one. Hey, Hassan, today is my birthday. They were looking to save. I told everyone to America. go to the White House, but I didn't They were looking to subvert the Happy Constitution. This isn't about being bogged down in the past. It's about making sure the past isn't buried. That's the only Three way more forward. Till brain rot, let's go. That's what great nations do. They don't bury the truth. They face up to it. Sounds like hyperbole, but that's the truth. They face up to it. We are a great nation. That was so boring, dude. God damn. Job at this. Dude, so good. So fucking good, dude. It's me! <laughs>